piece out for this uh, sucker, or else I'm in for a, uh, a harsh bit of treatment myself. A break up with Austria. I'd rather not give up that province, but I think he really wants it. Wants concessions other than gold. I can't just give him that province. That's no big loss. It's just one. Uh, it's just six development. Development comes and goes, and I'll keep my core on it. The only downside is he'll uh, keep the. He will keep the Hungarian culture there, which is the last thing that I want. I think I even developed this province. Well, it's the lowest thing that I can give away, so I will probably just have to give it up. I could try holding out in the war, but it's super risky, and if I know my amount of uh, self-preservation, it would just get me killed. So, fairly well. And I like the idea that no one is going to save Slavonia here. A crying shame. Alright, that... That made you understand the situation. Damn right I have reconquest against the Auto-Turks. <laughs> they want to run far, far away. Run, run as a soldier's wail. Death from above continues to hail. For the Hungarian, for the Hungarian, the end is nigh. And I forget the rest of the song. But the summary is, Hungary is going to die. Now do I have access through the Ottomans still? means I could get there, but not to there. Okay, it's kind of interesting. The mountains... Well, I mean, they're going to go over to my fort and I'll just ravage them. Heck, I have no problem if they just sit on my fort for ages. It makes my life easier. means I can uh, take their capital and... I wonder if I could break down their fort faster than they could bunker bust me. Might need a few more than what I've actually got. Austria demolishing an Ottoman stack there. Well, demolishing is one way to put it, but... Oh, one downside is my trust went down quite a bit because I pieced out without having uh, really gotten ravaged there. But it's okay. I mean, Austria and I have now officially fallen out. I better maintain that marriage. Just so that they still see me as a good friend, right? Minus a thousand for at war, considering the same provinces to be of vital interest. Can't really help it, buddy. And trust is really hammering that point home. Well, it is what it is. Get on there. Whilst we just stare at the Hungarians. I'd like to be able to get there, but that's not happening. Friendship ended with Austria. Now Poland is my best friend. Poland will turn on me eventually. They always do. No AI truly loves me. But, uh, you know, we got Brandenburg on our side. And I should probably look to one other friend. I'm thinking Bavaria, now that I stabbed a certain other person in the back. But they're, uh, they're uh, rivaled with Brandenburg, so bang goes that. And I already rivaled the Palatinate. The message I'm getting here is that I need to carve through the HRE to find more allies. Please tell me you got some siege on you. You do? Well, Croatia, you are also my new best friend. You know what? I'm going to have to fight these guys eventually. As they say, how soon is now? But then if I keep them alive, it's less uh, units that they're going to build up here, which also works out in my favour. Careful, Jake. Luca sent troops. Oh no, not Slavonia. My biggest weakness. Let's consider that Luca does... Oh, Luca does have access through Austria. Well, they could come along and make my life a little more difficult, but they're in Slavonia for a while at least. I should be able to take down Zabolks in that time. 
crush the Hungarian army, consolidate my forces, smash Luca, take over the rest of Hungary. It's almost like I got a plan here. Well, really, why don't I smack you down right now? Yeah, I should. They're making too good progress on uh, Slovenia there. And I waited too long. That allowed them to get to uh, Attack 7. I should have smashed them before that. The Ottomans want military access. I don't know why I should give it to them. Another crushing victory over Hungary for Nitra. There was never any doubt. And I should get a better flanking on you than I'm allowing myself to have here. So we'll get everybody over to uh, Best Pest. Fine, I've got reconquest. <laughs> Jake was the problem for Austria. Yeah. S not not terribly amused at how they're winning this one now. Most of it's coming from uh, still holding the war goal, though. If they ever let that slip, it's bad news. Wait, my trader leaves the court? I don't even want this trader. I want a guy that improves relations. Still gonna take that minor trade crisis though. Alright, it's only farmlands, which is unfortunate. Wow, I'm actually incredibly surprised that the Ottomans are getting slapped here. I'm also getting slapped myself. Should have thought about that, shouldn't I? I wonder if he's going to try and liberate his capital. That would be a clever thing for him to do. It is grassland. Okay, no, if he wants to go elsewhere, that's his prerogative. Look, Hungary, I'm a reasonable man. Just give it all up. I could chase down and destroy Luca and place them slightly under siege, and that way they'll never try to hurt me again. Oh, well, he's going this way. That's fine, too. get your tens to walk. Not an option then. That's fine. Well, always slaughter Hungarians then. How's that for a phrase to live by? Mountains, we don't even care. We have plenty of flanking here. Sadly, they have plenty of Lucans. And they've held out a lot better than I thought they would, so I'm getting out of there. So my paperwork is piling high. Maybe I should get a uh, Diplo idea so I can actually spend it on something. Trouble is, I don't even know where I would start with getting good Diplo ideas. I mean, would diplomacy really save me right about now? I'm hedging my bets on no. Diplo points, Jake. We're, taking, we're shaking too many hands. <laughs> yeah, I can see some hands that can be cut here. Okay. And I just can't win wars to save my life these days. Hmm. Bit kinamendi. Could always get more gold, right? Or have a better capital. But if I did get any uh, ideas, what would I go for? So I need something to be dip, uh, dumping my dip points into. Those other ones were rolling in. Influence and Diplomatic both really cry out to me. And thinking about it, thinking's what I do, you see. Aristocratic and Influence would get us all oligarchic, and I haven't played with a, um, with a good Republic in a long time. So that's telling me to go and get some Influence ideas. Not something I often play with, but we'll change that. So, goodbye overflowing uh, birds. Thank you, Admin Tech Cost Reduction. Alright, I need to take a quick water break, but I'll be right back.
I see a good uh, Sarky comment there saying, how's that revenge going? Well, look, it's not worth getting revenge if uh, you're not fighting someone that can't actually fight back here. So I'm feeling more than okay about this. Still, I mean, times have been better. I should really go and crush them as they stand. But they're only taking a uh, not very important province right now. The scum of Bohemia, they want revenge as well. Thank goodness I have decent relations with Poland. Goblin at last of the knights there. Not so hot in how Hungary and uh, Luca are coming together, I'll be honest. I did not suspect that Luca would be bringing everything over from there. I should have counted on it, but I didn't. Well, it happens. At least if they come and attack me in early. They're either going to be munching on Plzen, which has already proven very worthwhile. Or they're going to be in the Highlands, where I get the defensive bonus. Also, I'm missing a golden opportunity here. Always, always, always get your tens to your ones. Splat. Right, he brings no cannons, but he's, uh, he does have a siege general. And uh, looking at the numbers here, actually, he outnumbers me in ways I don't like. Speaking of being outnumbered, those Austrians really know how to keep fighting. And I pieced out way too early on this one. Okay, it wouldn't be hard to deal with these guys. I should just recruit a few mercs and take care of it all. There we go. Nitra always wins, baby. I can run into those highlands and I will be... Uh, it's not that we have any particularly great uh, ruler here. Or well, general, that is. But they've got 9 and 11, which is 20. Me, I have 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. I need a touch more than that. Well, not to the point where I want to be going over force limit. But I wonder if Hungary would help them out. My prestige is actually not helping the situation, it's hurting my morale rather than helping it. But I can't really let my uh, my capital go, so I'm going to have to help them out. I mean, hey, if you want to come and fight me in Highlands too, that's fine and dandy by me. And that's also nice if Hungary just want to go away. Now they're going to get involved, it's going to be do or die then. Hopefully it's die for them. I mean, I do outnumber. Oh well, we'll see what happens. If we get a nice shock phase in before they arrive, then it's golden. I'll take a 9 to a 4. Crunch, crunch, crunch. But then they come along, and another 9 to 0. Crunch, crunch, crunch. And we've got a goal-orientated 6 maneuver general. There is no escape. I'm almost as fast as a Shattered Retreat stack. Remember in early versions where Shattered Retreat uh, units could be outran by um, by people with Forced March on? Those were the days. Alright, it would be risky to go and fight them in the mountains here. Oh, they're not even going to... No, they are mountains, but uh, they're running away to recoup their losses, it seems. It's a shame that they're going to that one province that I can't quite hit up. But I don't have what I need to win here just yet. And their forts are in mountains. Man, I had a great plan to win this through uh, Devil and Cunning. And I just let it slip. So we can rein in those ideas. Cost of reducing all that war exhaustion that I'm bound to get. France and England are going at it. Austria gave up England. Hopefully they can get some better allies, but when they have so many enemies, that can be pretty tough. Now, I 
I don't want to aggressively expand to the point of all of Europe crushing down on me. But this does teach me that there are limits to how far I can take this. And that is about the limit, because if I take more, it's going to cheese off Anhalt, Magdeburg, Pomerania, and this is kind of like a sharp reminder that I should be improving relations with HRE miners who may be getting in my way here. And those who won't. Still a lot of them. They could come and ruin my day if they just attack me together. It's not cheesing them off that much, Jake. Just go for it. So has Croatia just given up on uh, fighting me here? Uh, on being with me here? Go on, go to Bihar, go to Bihar, go to Bihar. I mean, uh, we wouldn't get a river crossing penalty, but we wouldn't give them not having it. Ah, come on. Be a man, be a clog man. I don't want to be fighting defensively in Mount... Uh, I don't want to be the guy being struck in mountains here. Could happily take you down from here, though. Depends where you run to. Uh, come on, Croats. That's not the place to be. And they know it. Oh, damn, they, they are rolling like jammy buggers. Just this is a uh, pretty horrible war. My manpower is going down the drain. If I could just strike them there and take them down for good. But that's not how it works, is it? Why would it work like that? Should have taken down Luca when I had the chance. on taking down this fort because it's really what's standing uh, between us right now. If they want to focus on that fort, that's fine. And uh, Morale of armies plus 10% could not really come at a much better time. Uh, having my lands under occupation could come at better times though, like times when it doesn't give me this revolt risk. to a good start at our siege. This is going to be the battle of the sieges then. I don't want to be losing my, uh, my ownership of their capital. So I've got to believe in the powers here. The powers that be. Influential clergy is not a problem right now. <laughs> Even Hungarians can't stand filthy Hungarians. Whereas we are embraced by the gorgeous people of Transylvania who are helping disrupt the enemy's supplies. Yeah! Those Transylvanians right there. I know my, uh, I know my peoples. Jake, if you don't take Maramos and or Maros, nobody but you can take Hungary. I mean, yeah, I could leave these for later, but the idea of leaving Hungary alive is also fairly disgusting. But then again, saving them for later might be a good idea if I just, you know, don't annoy all the people over here, because I need to expand into Bohemia more. I need to expand into the HRE more in general to save me from the uh, hell that I have unleashed upon myself. So what did they get that was making things go so well? Must have gotten a water shortage or something similar. I will probably have to go and attack them, sadly. But I can leave a unit here, keeping Maramos just fine. 
Oh, damn, Lucas bringing in more. Cardinal and administration is kind of nice, and we hate heretics anyway. Tolerance, papal influence, all that for uh, 20 years. Heavens, yes. Okay, not super happy with how that's going. Uh, I hope this goes well. If it doesn't, then... Bad times. You know what, this guy is uh, hurting us for arriving together. 23rd. <laughs> Luca wants no part in this. Well, too late. Ucha, that's bad. That's very bad. I need a good roll here on toast. Gonna be even worse toast. It's tooth and nail every time with these scummy Hungarian scum. Get out of here. This is my land. Well, I didn't need that, uh, that manpower. I'm thinking scrunch up, lads. There's plenty more meat where that came from. The idea that I have trouble with these disgusting hill-dwelling people. I can't stand it. At least I can make my peace now, but... Well, probably better that I do. I want their money, and I could honestly take all that money for myself. But holding out is costing me as well. It's costing me. I don't want to be engaging with them again. Oh well, at least I've carved them up for myself. Yeah. It's not like I have the admin for coring at all, but who needs that? Whew. <laughs> Inspiring victory. You know, it's not like we just threw away so many of our young to die there and then. Inspirational. And now uh, war exhaustion is giving a huge amount extra to the coring costs here. I could just pay to keep the corruption down, and I think I will, because we need that war exhaustion to go away before we start doing this. It's only like six years or so. Gives me time to assess the situation aggressive expansion-wise as well. Uh, Austria could actually join a coalition against us if they so desired. This is telling me that I can't actually expand into the HRE right now. Amazing. They held out against the Turk. I think they didn't have to give up too much. And they no longer consider the Ottomans' arrival. I wonder who they're going to rival next. Really, I do. Okay, thank God. <laughs> oh, thank God. That could have gone so bad, because if they'd rivaled me, there's no way they would want to... Um... Oh, mm. we need some royal babies. Yeesh, that went so bad. To make it worse, because I didn't take this, we got revolts that could be popping up left and right here. I'm starting to think this fort is just a little bit worthless doesn't provide us much at all. None of these forts are all that great, really. Six three six administrator. Hell no, he's not. He's a militarist. Uh, good thing he's our militarist. Oh, he still sees our land as uh, his land. 
Okay, I am actually convinced that I should be culturally enriching these provinces. Just to um, stop him from wanting them due to being in his culture group. Nitra looks much nicer now. I like the name placement quite a bit. I mean, this little bit up here is ugly. If I just took all of uh, Bohemia, that would be nicer. Oh no, 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 no. There's no need for that. You don't have good allies now. It's not the time to be... Oh, he's not even going to be Emperor soon. Ooh. It's a dark day for all Christendom. And they didn't get white piece. They lost Kapan. Don't know how I didn't see that, but I really didn't. Just a short, relaxing campaign. Yeah, no problem. No problem. Poland want to marry me. I'm sure they have only the best of intentions for us. Come on, consort. Time to squeeze out a baby. Sinner. time for this to go down anyway. Since I have it cheaper, I might as well help it along. It's not like I need that inflation reduction. That would be a crutch. But I don't need this anymore. Should I change that out? Probably when I know what my air is going to be. Time to butter up the Emperor Jake. Don't forget to add new land to the HRE when it's cored. Well... Not so sure that would uh, really butter up anything. Hehe. <laughs> That's right. Give me your iron. We're good friends. If I didn't have that aggressive expansion and maybe a few other things. No, if I didn't have that aggressive expansion with Austria, which I wouldn't have so bad if I had remained allied with them, then uh, he wouldn't be hostile towards me. You get that relation to 100, no hostilities. Still have a long way to go to before we can be considered a great power, though, but holy crivens that Ottomans. I don't know who can stop it, but it's not Nitra. Nitra is clawing its way away just to stay alive. Now they hate Poland. Alright, Hungarians, tell me. I can actually give those Hungarians to the Ottomans, so I don't even care. Transylvanians I care a bit more about. Bihar, Turda, and the other one. I mean, they would have to come and engage me in these mountains anyway, so again, not a problem. Also, I can give them to the Ottomans, not a problem. Depends how much I want to fight Transylvanians. 16k of them? Could give or take. Start coring, Jake. I don't know. I don't want to pay that extra 4%. Well, it's not so bad anymore now, is it? Man, I really don't want to pay that extra. Admin is tight, you know. But, so is corruption. Let's get it paid. It's not like I'm going for world conquest, so I don't need to be tight with my monarch points. Why are the Ottomans so disgustingly tolerant, Jake? Well.